right there. Oh, Goliath's on him. What's going on guys? Joey Antonelli here and we are at Sebastian Inlet, but I'm not fishing here today. I got a call from a, or a message, message on Instagram from a, someone who was here last night and they dropped a rod and reel in the water. And I'm not gonna tell you what it was yet, but he told me right where he dropped it in. And I think I can find it where he dropped it in. So we got some dive gear. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and find it. Tide's already going out. I wanted to be here on incoming, but I'm a little late, but I think I'll still be able to find it because I got a pretty good idea where it's at. We're gonna give it our best shot. All right, buddy, we're just gonna give it our best. Hopefully we find it for you. Just walking out in these fins, it's super awkward. So we can turn around and start swimming. What was that, a drum? Was that a drum or a sheephead? Oh. Too fitty, baby. All right, you're gonna be freaking stuck when I tell you I found your rod. You're very lucky. It's the right reel to lose in the water on a Crowder. Crowder, eight foot. This better bring some good karma my way. There's a million catfish in here and it's freezing. Well, that was worth it. That was worth the trip down. I am absolutely shocked that I found it. But if you had to lose something, that was the best spot to lose it. For those of you who don't know, this is this is about an $800 setup, maybe even a little bit more. But dude's lucky, very lucky. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get him on the phone here in a little bit. So we just got out of the water. Here's the reel again. I was up on the jetty talking to some of my buddies that know a lot more about van stalls than I do. First off, the reel works perfect still. He only dropped it in last night. It's a completely sealed reel. So if you're gonna drop a reel in overnight, that's the one. Uh, the van stall VR250 is what we're looking at right here. He's got a power knob added on there. So this whole reel setup is like a freaking eight or $900 setup. I mean, just that knob, 75 bucks added on. So this is about a, say a $900 reel, $100 in braid. Crowder rod, probably about another 150 bucks or so. So 
definitely a setup worth well over a thousand bucks. And just like that, it was gone over the railing, never to be seen again. But he was really lucky. We were able to find it, get it back for him. And uh, we'll get him on the phone here in a little bit, hopefully, and uh, get his reaction. Because I'm going to tell him I didn't find it. I got to mess with him a little bit. Uh, got some barnacle damage there on you know, my arms. I was gonna put the wetsuit on, but just wanted to get out there real quick and get it done before dark. Sun's going down and hopefully this brings some good karma to us. So YouTube family, I am back at home now. Uh, I texted the guy on my way home after I found his rod and just said, hey, can you give me a call when you get a chance? And I sent him my number because it was, it was through Instagram. So I messaged him that and told him to give me a call. I told him I had a question for him. He has no idea I have his rod. He doesn't know I even went in the water to look for it. Last night, he was just messaging me, freaking out, like super, I could tell he was super upset he dropped his rod in, and who wouldn't be? I think it's freaking beautiful. And after I looked at it closer, I'm pretty sure that's a custom Crowder. I mean, there's no uh, numbers on it or anything. It looks like it's a custom made, it looks like about an eight and a half foot Crowder, so. He just called me. I said, I got to call you right back early. I just wanted to get up here and get the camera going. And that's the price he has to pay. I mean, I'm giving him his rod back and I want to be able to film it and share it with you guys. And I'm sure he'll be stoked to have this video too. He even told me, film it, dude, if you go to look for it. So I'm going to call him back right now and we're going to see how it goes down. Can I promise? Hello? Yo, dude, it's Joey. Hey, Joey, how's it going, man? Hey, pretty good. Uh, I got a couple questions for you real quick. Um... Well, first, do you care if I record this call? No, nah, yeah, man, go ahead, record it, record it. All right, yeah, I'm going to record this call uh, just because I wanted to get a little bit of video going. So my second question is, when do you want to come pick up this rod from me? Oh, you found it? I sure did. Hell yeah, man. Um, right now. So we're going back out again. And like you saw before, we weren't going fishing. This time we're going fishing. I got Vic from Land Shark fishing with me. And we were fishing all day on the beach, but now we're gonna go try to catch a couple snook. Got some pinfish. And hopefully, I just wanna catch a couple fish. I'm not looking to get 30, 40 fish or anything like that, but I think we got enough pinfish to get her done. Yeah, we're, we're about it. It's been a long day. So, that's where we're headed. We haven't stopped since the morning. No, we've been fishing before the sun came up. We were, well, driving at least. We came here, wasn't happening. Then we went and hammered some pompano down south. And then, uh... When we say hammer, hammer. We hammered, hammer time. 40 pompano from land. Look at that. It's a beautiful evening. There we go, there he is. Good fish. Come on. I don't know what we got on here. Coming up. We're a decent ways out now. You're good, Granny. I'm going to go right over you. I got to get under this rod. Oh, I just got a jack. Jack? Yeah. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, guys, Jack, Jack, Jack. Look at the one following it. How's the follower? Oh, Look at the followers. They yeah. Where you want them? All right. There he is. There we go. There we go. Good fish. Could be the one. Oh, he's dumping it. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. It's all right. We'll let him get tired out. Let him get tired out there away from the pile. Look, look. That's a Kubera bite. Hey. Yeah. Woo. That's a catfish bite. That's a catfish bite. Catfish food. We're going to get him. Whoa. Probably under you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yep. All right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
Got him right there. Oh, Goliath's on him. Oh, Goliath's on him. Ryan. Goliath try to eat him? Goliath was all over him. I'm sliding him in right there. I got line. I'm trying to pull him more. I'm like hung on deadline or something. There we go. In the well. There we go, baby. These things are so fat right now. It's insane. Let's just lay him on the grate right here. These are four inches a piece, right? Yeah. 32. I think he's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna put him on a stick just to make sure. No, probably 31. Or... Let's see what we're working with. Come on, man, you got it. Yes, sir. 32 on the money. Look at that. Pinch tail. Hey, you wanna... Look at that. We'll call that. Okay, I got the selfie. We got guests out here. This time of year, everyone gets out here. We got Ryan and Squirt out here Instagram with the snook. This might be your lucky fit. Vic, it was a successful trip. So that's it, guys. Vic's got to get one. So. There he is. Oh, we got to pop him. Show you guys a little popping technique. I've shown you before. This part, super sharp. This part, not so much. Go right through the membrane. And grab the piece of spaghetti and spaghetti pop. So I forgot I had a cooler with me. Our fish is all bled out. He's going right in the igloo trail, mate. Right under the ice. 